There are pros and cons to both, dry and liquid yeast. Um, we did use dry yeast. Now we use liquid yeast from White Labs. We start with uh, what we call a fresh pitch. So it comes to us in these cute little bags with exactly the number of cells we need to create the amount of beer we're attempting to create. Uh, yeah, so the liquid yeast. There are, first of all, more strains available of liquid yeast. Dry yeast, you are limited to what they what the yeast companies sell as dry. So you're kind of limited to the yeast that everyone else uses. There's a few ale strains, there's a few lager strains, interesting quake and other stuff in between, saisons. Um, but the, the, the catalog of liquid yeast, you could say, is very wide and diverse. So you can really pick and choose, as we do with the three strains that we blend together, uh, to really craft the specific aromas and characters and flavors that you want. Uh, it's also just a little bit happier and healthier of a yeast. So dry yeast, as you can imagine, is dried. So it undergoes a process of, uh, it's kind of a stressful environment. So it goes from being normal, happy, healthy yeast, and then it gets heated and dried and stuffed in a bag. So the, the viability rate is much lower maybe like 60 to 80 percent on average in dry yeast versus over 95 percent viability in liquid yeast. And viability basically means how um, you have viability and vitality, which is how, how many cells are alive and then how robust they are, how well they're going to ferment. Uh, so the, in liquid yeast, it's just um, greater. You're going to get a healthier fermentation uh, also, because of the drying process of dry yeast, they're known for having more of a muted flavor and, and character aroma production, simply because um, the liquid yeast has been propagated up, put in exactly the environment it wants, given all the oxygen it needs, all of the healthy food it wants to consume. Uh, so it's just really ready to go and perform at a high level, uh, whereas dry yeast is a bit unhappy being dried and shoved into a bag. Um, so it's not going to give us the performance we want. Uh, it's also not as great for repitching or harvesting. So for us, we're lucky to be able to harvest yeast from, from each fermentation we use. So we start with a fresh pitch from our friends at White Labs. Um, after that fermentation, is complete, we're taking the yeast from um, our conical fermenters, because collected in the cones, and we're taking it from one tank and basically re-pitching it, putting it in another tank for the next fermentation. And we can do this up to 10 generations, and we, sit, we may harvest from one tank into multiple tanks, and then that goes 10 times. So, as you can imagine, we end up getting dozens of fermentations from one healthy pitch. When you're starting with dry yeast, it's just a little bit, um, the yeast cells don't necessarily have um, all of the, the resources that they need. Glycogen, which is um, like a, a, a reserve energy store, they don't have as much of that. Um, there are proteins in the cell walls that help them flocculate, which is like at the end of fermentation, they're like banding together and dropping out of solution together. They don't have as much of that in dry yeast. Um, so yeah, just uh, more robust, more happy, more healthy. The cons are more in uh, logistics. So fresh yeast, um, it comes in a bag and it's still active in there, so it might be fermenting. So over time it might build a little bit of pressure in the bag and get a little bit less happy. Um, CO2 can be toxic for yeast. So when we get a bag, or when White Labs makes a bag of yeast, it might last six months before um, it expires. It's still a lot more, has higher viability. Um, but yeah, li liquid yeast, really only lasts five to seven months on a shelf, whereas dry yeast can last up to two years. Um, it's cheaper. You pay for what you get. 
So liquid yeast is a little more expensive. Uh, but for us, when we're able to use it for 60 to 100 brews per fresh pitch, that cost is kind of uh, negated. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Shelf life and cost, I would say.